Welcome to 5 Minutes of Coherence, a series of short videos where we explore various topics related to Oracle Coherence. I'm Tim Middleton, a software engineer with the Coherence development team here at Oracle, and today we're going to cover the different coherence cache types. One of the things I've always liked about the Coherence API is the fact that you can write code without knowing what underlying cache topology is being used. This provides flexibility in being able to change the topology without changing application code. For example, you could start using a distributed or partition cache and then decide you wish to use a near or view cache based upon your requirements. There's no change required to your code, just a configuration change. In this video, we're going to cover at a high level the main cache topologies and their general use cases. For more details, refer to the online documentation which is linked in the video description. Here we can see the main cache types that Coherence supports. We'll go through each one in a little more detail in the following slides. Local caches are thread-safe, highly concurrent single JVM caches. They are typically size limited by a number of entries or by the memory usage of the cache and support various customized out-of-the-box eviction policies, including the ability to create custom policies. Local caches also support expiration of given entries, given a time to live, which can apply to individual or all entries in a cache. They are typically used as part of other cache topologies, such as near caches, as well as the core of the underlying distributed or partition cache. A distributed or partition cache is a fault tolerant cache where the data is automatically partitioned and backed up across storage nodes in the cluster. Partitioning of the data allows deterministic access as well as scaling of capacity, writes, processing and querying across the cluster. The data location is also transparent to the developer. So it doesn't matter if you have three or 300 nodes, you just use the same API. On membership changes or failures, data is automatically redistributed and new backups and primaries are created as required transparently to the application. This is the most commonly used cache in coherence and is best for high performance read-write caches. Near caches comprise of a front and back cache, typically a size limit of local cache in the front, and a distributed or remote back cache. When a requested entry is not present in the front cache, it is retrieved from the back cache and then stored locally in the front cache. Subsequent cache accesses will be instantaneously served from the near cache. Coherence automatically sets up listeners to invalidate the front cache when a change is made in the back cache. This cache type is best for heavy read caches with data affinity. A view cache is a clustered or fault tolerant cache that provides an in-memory materialized view of data stored in a distributed or partition cache. View caches replace replicated caches which are now deprecated and maintain an up-to-date view of the data on the client. View caches can contain all or part of a back-end distributed cache. This cache type is best for reference data where instant access is required on all nodes. Remote caches are any out-of-process caches connected via either gRPC or Coherence Extend via proxy server. The remote proxy server delegates a request to the backend cache, which can be distributed, view, or federated. gRPC remote caches use a gRPC proxy server, which allow you to connect from polyglot clients such as JavaScript, Go, or Python. Remote caches are best for connections on slower or unstable networks. Federated caches replicate data asynchronously across multiple geographically dispersed locations. Cache data is federated across clusters to provide redundancy, offsite backup, and multiple points of access for application users in different geographical locations. This option is only available in Coherence Grid Edition. There are a couple of other cache types or configurations which really deserve their own videos, but I will outline them quickly below. Cache stores, which can be attached to distributed or federated caches, provide backend integration into data sources, which are typically databases, to read, write data to or from these data sources via asynchronous, synchronous, or non-blocking data stores. Elastic data caches allow you to store your data off heap, usually on fast NVMe storage to increase cache capacity. Coherence has many different cache types or topologies that can be used depending upon your application's requirements. Hopefully this video has given you a good introduction to the main ones and where they are best used. See the video description for more information on cache types and coherence in general. Thanks for listening.